Through the mirror of darkness lies a land of fantasy, of secrets, of villains. Come with me through the mirror. Let's go to Twisted Wonderland. Hello everyone, I'm Lucy, your ghostly guide through all things Disney, and specifically for today, Twisted Wonderland. We'll be talking about the game and its history. Because there's a lot going on with Twisted Wonderland, I'm going to be explaining everything as if you haven't heard of all its moving parts. I know if you're watching this, you're most likely a fan of the game and start for content, or you're a curious Disney fan, but I prefer to go over everything just so everyone is on the same page. There will be timestamps in the description box in case you're already well aware of certain things and want to get to new information. Without further ado, let's jump into the Mirror of Darkness and descend into Twisted Wonderland. Twisted Wonderland is the latest Disney mobile game. The genre of the game appears to be dark fantasy, but that hasn't been completely confirmed. But given the aesthetics of the game as well as some people involved in the game, I think it's safe to say the game will be dark fantasy. While we don't have a confirmed genre, we do know a lot about the game mechanics. There's a rhythm game aspect to the game where players will have to tap icons in time with music. There's also a fighting feature that the dev teams call Command Battles, where players will give characters commands and tell them how to fight enemies. And of course, we can't forget about the gotcha feature, where players spend in-game currency for the chance to get better cards. In comparison with other games on the market, Twisted Wonderland looks like it's fairly close in game mechanics to Love Live All-Stars. At least when it comes to the RPG and the rhythm game aspects. There's no English or worldwide version of Twisted Wonderland. The current rumor in the fandom is that it will never be released outside of Japan, but neither my assistant, who does a bulk of the research and script writing for my videos, nor I could find any evidence of any team associated with Twisted Wonderland say that. So while we could have missed something, I would still take it with a grain of salt like you would with most rumors. The plot revolves around the protagonist, someone from our world who finds themselves in Twisted Wonderland, the world of villains. Their one ally is Dyer Crowley, the headmaster of the prestigious magic school Night Raven College. He vows to help the protagonist return home and in the meantime, keep them safe. The game's main setting is Night Raven College and other characters include the college's staff members as well as students, all of whom belong to one of seven dormitories. Some promotional materials even imply that certain Disney villains were the ones to found these dorms. Each dorm is inspired by, or twisted from if we're using the official terminology, a classic Disney animated feature. The dormitories are Hearts Labule, Twisted from Alice in Wonderland, Savannah Claw, Twisted from The Lion King, Octavinelle, Twisted from The Little Mermaid, Scarabia, Twisted from Aladdin, Pomfiore, Twisted from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Ignihide, Twisted from Hercules, and Diasomnia, Twisted from Sleeping Beauty. The game was officially announced by Anaplex on January 31st, 2019 on the game's Twitter account as well as Disney Japan's Twitter account. Already there was hype for the game. With Disney and Anaplex teaming up, this game was bound to be very good. Disney, of course, is one of, if not the most powerful animation company in the world, and not to mention they've been a huge influence on American pop culture. Anaplex is also a global giant when it comes to animation, music, and video game production. Two of the most famous projects they've produced are Puella Magi Madoka Magica, a dark twist on the classic magical girl tale, Black Butler, the story of a boy in Victorian London making a deal with a demon posing as his butler to get revenge for his torture and the murder of his parents. You can see why I think this game will be dark. <laughs> Both of these series are incredibly popular with anime fans all over the world. Some popular video games they've published are Magia Record, a video game spinoff of Madoka Magica, and Fate Grand Order, where you can live out your biggest dream of seeing historical figures fight each other. However, the big names don't stop there. On March 23rd, famed manga creator Yana Toboso announced that she was in charge of the character design and the main scenario, and the official Twisted Wonderland website added that she was supported by Square Enix. Remember Black Butler, the dark fantasy anime I mentioned Anaplex being involved in? Toboso is the original creator of Black Butler, so this wasn't the first time Anaplex and Toboso have worked together. Square Enix might be a more familiar name to Disney fans, as they're the ones who publish the Kingdom Hearts games. A couple of days later, credits in a game teaser revealed the game was being developed by F4 Samurai, a company specializing in smartphone games. Again, this was a company that had worked with Anaplex in the past, as they'd been the developers for Magia Record. Starting in late March, the Twitter account started revealing the characters. As the game's setting is Night Raven College, characters were grouped by what dormitory they are a part of. 
I'm not going to go into every single date because there's seven dorms and the school staff was released one by one, so it'd be a lot of boring dates. All you need to know is that they started unveiling characters in March and they ended in August. And August ended up being a very busy month for all teams involved. On August 8th, a new key visual featuring all of the dormitory leaders was released. Not only this, but a snippet of the opening theme song for the game was released in addition to promising to release the game that winter. Pre-registration for the game also started. The next day, Anaplex attended Comiket, one of the largest fan conventions in the world, and gave out a booklet at their booth called the Night Raven College Admissions Guide. The booklet was essentially a comic anthology featuring the students of Night Raven College. It also had some screenshots of the game in the back. With winter drawing near, Twisted Wonderland began to pick up promotions. On October 25th, there was a special admissions experience in Tokyo. With large coffin-shaped screens and a special car with a keyhole in it, attendees could come face-to-face -face with the dorm leaders and hear them talk about the school and various other topics. Later in December, a digital version of this experience was posted online, so people who were unable to attend the admissions experience could see it for themselves. Winter was now here, but there was no sign of the game releasing. There were teasers, such as some of the cast members streaming and showing off the game, but that happened in late January 2020, and there was still no mention of a release date. Winter was coming to an end and the game hadn't dropped. But on February 23rd, the Twisted Wonderland Twitter account uploaded an image of the character Ace Chapala with a countdown on it. It said that there were 23 more days to go until the game's release. It was certainly an unconventional way to announce the release date, but every day since the 23rd, the Twitter has uploaded one image per day, each counting down to the release date. The final updates before the game release on March 18th have been the official Twitter uploading part of the game's opening sequence and the announcement of the Twisted Wonderland team attending Anime Japan 2020. The production team hasn't revealed much about the story besides the basic premise and a few hints hidden in character biographies. Perhaps this has led to some miscommunications on what the game is. Many people over various forms of social media first thought Twisted Wonderland was some kind of dating sim game, which is false. There was also a slight misconception going around that every character was just a reimagined version of a pre-existing character in Disney canon. It's true that some characters definitely have some inspiration from some villains, like Malleus and Maleficent and the Leech Twins with Floatsum and Jetsum, but they aren't the same person. And that is all we know about Twisted Wonderland so far. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me. I hadn't considered starting off my channel with this, but when my assistant mentioned the game was coming out soon, we both decided it would be a fun topic to cover. If you'd like to read more about Twisted Wonderland, there are some English articles about it in the description box. But keep in mind, they're a bit... Uh, dated. <laughs> I'll also link the official Twitter and website for Twisted Wonderland, but heads up, the Twitter is entirely in Japanese and the website is also mostly Japanese. If you'd like to keep up to date with my latest videos, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you get alerted whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Farewell for now.